Round two of the Kings of the Sevens at Gala once again attracted a big crowd with over a thousand players of all ages taking part throughout the day. And it was Gala the first to qualify for the semi-finals after beating Watsonians in their pool. Peebles joined them after putting out Jed Forrest in a close encounter in Pool B, before Edinburgh Ackies and Kelso locked horns in Pool C in a key tie which was nip and tuck until Ackies got over the line to beat the reigning Kings of the Sevens champions. There was a surprise in the other pool with Hoyk and Melrose battling it out over two ties when Selkirk withdrew late from the competition. Melrose were the winners of the Peebles tournament two weeks before and started as favourites, but it was the Greens who narrowly got through to clinch a semi-final spot. The hosts proved too strong for Peebles in the first semi-final, running out 29-12 winners after pulling away in the second half. While in the other semi-final, Ackies moved up a gear later in the tie to take the match 36-12 and reached the final to take on the hosts. Just before the main final, there was a good omen for the home crowd, when the Gala Wanderers under-18 team fought back from a 19-7 deficit at half-time against Jed Thistle to win at the death by 28-24 in a thrilling encounter. Gala against Ackies then in the final and a game which went down to the wire. In the end it was Gala who held on to win 1914 and lift their own trophy for the first time in two years, a result which propelled them to joint second in the K7's table just behind Melrose. To get your own tournament under the belt at the start it makes a huge difference in confidence boost and excitement for the club going into the, the rest of the sevens at the end of the season. The K7s goes into hibernation now for eight months until May next year, but when it wakes up again, it will start from a very exciting position, with seven teams separated by just five points. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.